The book of Hosea in the King James Version Bible. Hosea chapter 1. The word of mighty God Ahia that came unto Hosea, the son of Beeri, in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah, and in the days of Jeho Jeroboam, the son of Joash, king of Israel. The beginning of the word of mighty God Ahia by Hosea, and Ahia said to Hosea, Go, take unto thee a wife of whoredoms, and children of whoredoms, for the land had committed great whoredom, departing from Ahia, our mighty God. So he went and took Gomer, the daughter of Dibliam, which conceived, and bare him a son. And Ahia said unto him, Call his name Jezreel, for yet a little while I will avenge the blood of Jezreel upon the house of Jehu, and will cause to seize the kingdom of the house of Israel. And it shall come to pass at that day that I will break the bow of Israel in the valley of Jezreel. And she conceived again and built a daughter, and mighty God Ahia said unto him, Call her name Lorahama, for I will no more have mercy upon the house of Israel, but I will utterly take them away. But I will have mercy upon the house of Judah, and will save them by Ahiah their Elohi, and will not save them by bow, nor by sword, nor by battle, by horses, nor by horsemen. Now when she had weaned Lahuma, she conceived and bare a son. Then said Ahiah, our mighty God, call his name Loami, for you are not my people, and I will not be your mighty God. Yet the number of children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, You are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, You are the sons of the living, mighty God, Ahiah. Then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered together and appoint themselves one head, and they shall come up out of the land, for great shall be the day of Jezreel. Chapter 2 Say you unto your brother in Ami, and to your sisters, Ruhama, Plead with your mother, plead, for she is not my wife, neither am I her husband. Let her therefore put away her whoredoms out of her sight, and her adulteries for between her breasts. Lest I strip her naked, and set her as in the day that she was born, and make her a wilderness, and set her like a dry land, and slay her with thirst. And I will not have mercy upon her children, for they be the children of whoredoms. For their mother had played the harlot, she that conceived them had done shamefully, for she said, I will go after my lovers, that give me my bread and my water, my wool and my flax, mine oil and my drink. Therefore, behold, I will hedge up thy way with thorns, and make a wall, that she shall not find her paths. And she shall follow after her lovers, but she shall not overtake them. And she shall seek them, but shall not find them. Then shall she say, I will go and return to my first husband, for then was it better with me than now. But she did not know that I gave her corn, and wine, and oil, and multiplied her silver and gold, which they prepare for Baal. Therefore will I return, and take away my corn in the time thereof, and my wine in the season thereof, and will recover my wool, and my flax given to cover her nakedness. And now will I discover her lewdness in the sight of her lovers, and none shall deliver her out of mine hand. I will also cause all her mirth to cease, her feast days, her new moons, and her sabbaths, and all her solemn feasts. I will... Destroy her vines and her fig trees, whereof she had said, These are my rewards that my lovers have given me, and I will make them a forest, and the beast of the field shall eat them. And I will visit upon her the days of Baalim, wherein she burned incense to them, and she decked herself with her earrings and her jewels, and she went after her lovers, and forgot me, said mighty God Ahia. Therefore, behold, I will allure her, and bring her into the wilderness, and speak comfortably unto her. And I will give her her vineyards from thence, and the valley of Acre for a door of hope. And she shall sing there as in the days of her youth, and as in the days when she came up out of the land of yeah. Egypt. And it shall be at the day, said mighty God Ahia, that thou shalt call me Ishi, and shall call me no more Baali. For I will take away the names of Balaam out of her 
mouth, and they shall no more be remembered by their name. And in that day will I make a covenant for them with the beast of the field, and with the fowls of heaven, and with the creeping things, and of the ground, and I will break the bow, and the sword, and the battle of the earth, and will make them to lie down safely. And I will betroth thee unto me for ever. Yeah, I will betroth thee unto me in righteousness, and in judgment, and in loving kindness, and in mercies. I will even betroth thee unto me in faithfulness, and thou shalt know Ahiah. And it shall come to pass in that day I will hear, said mighty God Ahiah, I will hear the heavens, and they shall hear the earth. The earth shall hear the corn, and the wine, and the oil, and they shall hear Jezreel. And I will sow her unto me in the earth, and I will have mercy upon her that had not obtained mercy. And I will say to them which were not my people, Thou art my people, and they shall say, Thou art my mighty God. Chapter 3 Then said mighty God Ahiah unto me, Go yet love a woman beloved of her friend, yet as adulteress, according to the love of mighty God Ahiah to the children of Israel, who look to other gods and love flagons of wine. So I bought her to me for fifteen pieces of silver, and for an homer of barley, and a half homer of barley. And I said unto her, Thou shalt abide for me many days, thou shalt not play the harlot, and thou shalt not be for another man, so will I also be for thee. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king, and without a prince, and without sacrifice, and without an image, and without an effort, and without teraphim. Afterward shall the children of Israel return and seek mighty God Ahiah, their El Elohi, and David their king, and shall fear mighty God Ahiah and his goodness in the latter days. Chapter 4 Hear the word of mighty God Ahiah, you children of Israel, for mighty God Ahiah had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, no mercy, nor knowledge of Ahiah in the land. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out in blood touched blood. Therefore shall the land mourn, and every one that dwelleth therein shall languish, with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven, yeah. The fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. Let no man strive nor reprove another, for thy people are as that they that strive with the priest. Therefore shall thou fall in the day, and the prophet also shall fall with thee in the night, and I will destroy thy mother. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no more priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy mighty God, Ahiah, I will also forget thy children. As they were increased, so they sinned against me. Therefore will I change their glory into shame. They eat up the sin of my people, and they set their heart on their infirmity. And there shall be like people like priests, and I will punish them for their ways, and reward them their doings. For they shall eat and not have enough, they shall commit whoredom, and shall not eat increase, because they have left off to take heed to Ahia. Whoredom and wine and new wine take away the heart. My people ask counsel at their stocks, and their staff declared unto them, for the spirit of whoredom had caused them to err, and they had gone a whoring from under their mighty God. They sacrificed unto the tops of the mountains, and burn incense upon the hills, and under oaks, and pop poplars, and elms, because the shadow thereof is good. Therefore your daughters shall commit whoredom, and your spouses shall commit adultery. I will not punish your daughters when they commit whoredom, nor your spouses when they commit adultery, for themselves are separated with whores, and they sacrifice with harlots. Therefore the people that do not understand shall fall. Though thou Israel play the harlot, yet, yet let not Judah offend, and come not you unto Gilgal, neither go you up to Bethaven, nor swear. Mighty God of high liveth. For Israel slided back as a black back sliding heifer, now Ahiah will feed them as a lamb in a large place. Ephraim is joined to idols, let him alone. Their drink is sour, they have committed whoredom continually, her rules with shame do love give you. The wind had bound her up in her wings, and they shall be ashamed because of their sacrifices. Chapter 5 Hear you this, O priest, and hearken you house of Israel, and give you ear, O house of the king, for judgment is toward you. 
because you have been a snare on Mizpah and a net spread upon Tabor. And the revolters are profound to make slaughter, though I have been a rebuker of them all. I know Ephraim and Israel is not hid from me, for now, O Ephraim, thou committest whoredom, and Israel is defiled. They will not frame their doings to turn into their mighty God, Ahia, for the spirit of whoredoms is in the midst of them, and they have not known Ahia. And the pride of Israel do testify to his face, therefore shall Israel and Ephraim fall in their iniquity. Judah also shall fall with them. They shall go with their flocks and with their herds to seek Ahia, their mighty God. But they shall not find him, he had withdrawn himself from them. They have dealt treacherously against Ahia, for they have begotten strange children. Now shall a month devour them with their portions. Blow ye the cornet in Gibeah, and the trumpet in Ramah. Cry aloud at Bethaven after the O Benjamin. Ephraim shall be desolate in the day, O rebuke, among the tribes of Israel. Have I made known that which shall surely be? The princes of Judah were like them that remove the bound, Therefore I will pour out my wrath upon them like water. Ephraim is oppressed and broken in judgment, because he willingly walked after the commandment. Therefore will I be unto Ephraim as a moth, and to the house of Judah as rottenness. When Ephraim saw his sickness, and Judah saw his wound, then went Ephraim to the Assyrian, and sent to king Jerab, yet could not be healed you, nor cure you of your wound. For I will be unto Ephraim as a lion, and as a young lion to the house of Judah. I, even I, will tear and go away. I will take away, and none shall rescue him. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge your offense. And seek my face in their affliction, they will see me early. Chapter 6 Come and let us return into the Ahia. For he had torn, and he will heal us. He had smitten, and he will bind us up. After two days will he revive us, in the third day he will raise us up, and he shall live in, and we shall live in his sight. Then shall we know, if we follow on to know Ahia, his going forth is prepared as the morning, and he, he shall come unto us as the rain, and as the latter, and former rain unto the earth. O Ephraim, what shall I do unto thee? O Judah, what shall I do unto thee? For your, excuse me, for your goodness is as morning cloud, and as the early dew it goeth away. Therefore have I hewed them by the prophets. I have slain them by the words of my mouth, and thy judgments are as the light that goeth forth. For I desired mercy and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of mighty God are higher more than burnt offerings. But they like men have transgressed the, the covenant, there have they dealt treacherously against me. Gilead is a city of them that work in iniquity, and is polluted with blood. And as troops of robbers wait for a man, so the company of priests murder in the way by consent, for they commit lewdness. I have seen a horrible thing in the house of Israel. There is the whoredom of Ephraim, Israel is defiled. Also, O Judah, he had set an harvest for thee when I returned the captivity of my people. Chapter 7 when I would have healed Israel, then the iniquity of Ephraim was discovered, and the wickedness of Samaria, for the commit falsehood, and the thief cometh in, and the troop of robbers spoil it without. And they consider not in their hearts that I remember all their wickedness. Now their own doings have beset them about. They are before my face. They make the king glad with their wickedness, and the princes with their lies. They are all idolaters, idolatrous idolaters as an oven heated by the baker who sees it from raising after he had he kneaded the dough until it be leavened in the day of our king the princes have made him sick with bottles of wine he stretched out his hand with scorners for they have made ready their heart like an oven whilst they lie in wait their baker sleepeth all the night in the morning it burneth as a flame fire flaming fire they are all hot as an oven, and have devoured their judges. All their kings are fallen. There is none among them that call it unto me. Ephraim he had mixed himself among the people. Ephraim is a cake not turned. Strangers have devoured his strength, and he knoweth it not. Yea, gray hairs are here and there 
upon him, yet he knew it not. The pride of Israel testified to his face, and they do not return to Ahiah their mighty God, their El Elohi, nor seek him for all this. Ephraim also is like a silly dove without heart. They call to Egypt, they go to Assyria. When they shall go, I will spread my net upon them. I will bring them down as the fowls of the heaven. I will chastise them as their congregation had heard. Woe unto them, for they have fled from me. Destruction unto them, because they have transgressed against me. Though I have redeemed them, yet they have spoken lies against me. And they have not cried unto me with their heart. When they howled upon their beds, they assembled themselves for the corn and wine, and they rebelled against me. Though I have bound and strengthened their arms, yet do they imagine mischief against me. They returned, but not to the Most High. They are like a deceitful bow. Their princes shall fall by the sword, for the rage of their tongue. This shall be their derision in the land of Egypt. Chapter 8 Set the trumpet to thy mouth, he shall come as an eagle against the house of Ahiah, because they have transgressed my covenant and trespassed against my law. Israel shall cry unto me, My God, we know thee. Israel shall cast off the thing that is good, the enemy shall pursue him. They have set up kings, but not by me. They have made princes, and I knew it not. Of their silver and their gold have they made their, them idols, that they may be cut off. Thy calf, O Samaria, had cast thee off. Mine anger is kindled against them. How long will it be ere they retain to innocency? How long? For Israel was it also the workmen made it. Therefore it is not mighty God Ahia, but the calf of Samaria shall be broken in pieces. For they have sown the wind, and they shall reap the whirlwind. It had no stalk, the bud shall yield no meal. If so, be it yield, the stranger shall swallow it up. Israel is swallowed up, now shall they be among the Gentiles as a vessel wherein is no pleasure. They, For they are gone up to Assyria, a wild ass alone by himself. Ephraim had hired lovers. Yeah, though they have hired among the nations, now will I gather them, and they shall sorrow a little for the burden of the king of princes. Because of Ephraim had made many altars to sin, altars shall be unto him to sin. I have written to him the great things of my law, but they were counted as a strange thing. They sacrifice flesh for the sacrifices of mine offerings, and eat it, but Ahia, our mighty God, accepted them not. Now will he remember their iniquity and visit their sins. They shall return to Egypt. For Israel had forgotten his maker and builded temples. And Judah had multiplied fences cities, but I will send a fire upon his cities, and it shall be devoured, and it shall devour the palaces thereof. Chapter 9 Rejoice now, rejoice not, O Israel, for joy as other people, for thou hast gone a whoring from thy mighty God, thou hast loved a reward upon every corn floor. The floor and the wine press shall not feed them, and the new wine shall fail in her. They shall not dwell in mighty God of highest land, but Ephraim shall return to Egypt, and they shall eat unclean things in Assyria. They shall not offer wine offerings to Ahia their mighty God, neither shall they be pleasing unto him. Their sacrifices shall be unto them as the bread of mourners. All that eat thereof shall be polluted, for their bread for their souls shall not come into the house of Ahia. What will you do in the solemn day and in the day of the feast of Ahia? For lo, they are gone because of destruction. Egypt shall gather them up. Memphis shall bury them the ple pleasant places for their silver, nettles shall possess them, thorns shall be in their tabernacles. The days of visitation are come, the days of recompense are come, Israel shall know it. The prophet is a fool, the spiritual man is mad, for the multitude of thine, of thine iniquity and the great hatred. The watchman of Ephraim was with mighty God Ahiah, but the prophet is a snare of a fowler in all his ways, and hatred in the house of his mighty God. They have deeply corrupted themselves as in the days of Gibeah, therefore he will remember their iniquity, he will visit their sins. I found Israel like grapes in the wilderness. I saw your fathers as the first stripe in the fig tree at 
the first time, but they went to all pure and separated themselves into that shame, and their abominations were according as they loved. As for Ephraim, their glory shall fly away like a bird from the birth, and from the wound and from the conception. Though they bring up their children, yet will I bereave them, that there shall not be a man left. Yeah, woe also to them when I depart from them. Ephraim, as I saw Tyrus, is planted in a pleasant place, but Ephraim shall bring forth his children to the murderer. Give them, O Ahiah, what wilt thou give? Give them a miscarrying womb and dry breast. And their wickedness is in Gilgal, for there I hated them. For the wickedness of their doings, I will drive them out of mine house. I will love them no more. All their princes are revolters. Ephraim is smitten, their root is dried up. They shall bear no fruit, yet, though they bring forth yet, will I slay even the beloved fruit of their womb. My Elohi, my mighty God, Ahiah, will cast them away, because they did not hearken unto him, and they shall be wanderers among the nations. Chapter 10 Israel is an empty vine, he bringeth forth fruit unto himself, According to the multitude of his fruit, he had increased the altars. According to the goodness of his land, they have made goodly images. Their heart is divided, now shall they be found faulty. He shall break down their altars, he shall spoil their images. For now they shall say, We have no king, because we fear it, not a high, our mighty God. What then shall a king do to us? They have spoken words, swearing falsely, and making a covenant. Thus judgment spring it up as hemlock in the pharaohs of the field. The inhabitants of Samaria shall fear because of the calves of Bethaven, for the people thereof shall mourn over it, and the priest thereof that is rejoiced on it, for the glory thereof, because it is departed from it. It shall be also carried into Assyria for a present to King Jerab. Ephraim shall receive shame, and Israel shall be ashamed of his own counsel. As for Samaria, a king is cut off as the foam upon the water. The high places also of Avon, the sin of Israel, shall be destroyed. The thorn and the thistle shall come up on their altars, and they shall say to the mountains, Cover us, and to the hills, fall on us. O Israel, thou hast sinned from the days of Gibeah. There they stood, the battle of Gibeah, against the children of iniquity, did not overtake them. It is in my desire that I should chastise them, and the people shall be gathered against them, when they shall bind themselves in their two pharaohs. And Ephraim is as an heifer that is taught and loved to tread out the corn, but I passed over upon her fair neck. I will make Ephraim to ride, Judah shall plow, and Jacob shall break his clouds, clots. Sow to yourselves in righteousness, reap in mercy, break up your pharaoh, follows, Break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek a higher, till he come and rain righteousness upon you. You have plowed wickedness, you have reaped iniquity, you have eaten the fruit of lies, because thou distrust in thy way, and the multitude of thy mighty men. Therefore shall a tumult arise among thy people, and all thy fortress shall be spoiled, as shall man spoil Beth Bethabel in the day of the battle. The mother was dashed in pieces upon her children. So shall Bethel do unto you because of your great wickedness. In a, in a morning shall be the king of Israel utterly be cut off. Chapter 11 When Israel was a child, then I loved him and called my son out of Egypt. As they called them, so they went from them. They sacrificed unto ba Balaam and burned incense to graven images. I taught Ephraim also to go, taking them by their arms, but they knew not that I healed them. I drew them with cords of a man with bands of love, and I was to them as they that take off the yoke on their jaws, and I laid meat unto them. He shall not return into the land of Egypt, but the Assyrian shall be his king, because they refuse to return. And the sword shall abide on his cities, and shall consume his branches, and devour them because of their own counsels. And my people were bent to backsliding from me, though they called them to the Most High, none at all would exalt him. How shall I give thee up, Ephraim? How shall I deliver thee, O Israel? How shall I make thee as Adama? 
How shall I set thee as Zeboam? Mine heart is turned within me, my repentings are kindled together. I will not execute thy fierceness on my of my anger, I will not return to destroy Ephraim, for I am mighty God Ahia and not man, the Holy One in the midst of thee, and I will not enter into the city. They shall walk after mighty God Ahia. He shall roar like a lion when he shall roar, then the children shall tremble from the rut from the west. They shall tremble as I they shall tremble as a bird out of Egypt, and as a dove out of the land of Assyria. And I will place them in their houses, says mighty God Ahia. Ephraim composite me about what lies in the house of Israel with deceit. But Judah yet ruled with mighty God Ahia, and is faithful with the saints. Chapter 12 Ephraim feeded on wind, and followed after the east wind. He daily increased lies and desolation, and they do make a covenant with the Assyrians, and oil is carried into Egypt. Mighty God Ahia had also a controversy with Judah, and will punish Jacob according to his ways. According to his doings will he recompense him. He took his brother by the heel in the wound, and by his strength he had power with mighty God Ahia. Yeah, he had power over the angel and prevailed. He wept and made supplication unto him. He found in him Bethel, and there he spake with us. Even mighty God Ahia, our El Elohi of hosts, Ahia is his memorial. Therefore turn thou to thy mighty God. Keep mercy and judgment and wait on thy mighty God, Ahia, continually. He is a merchant. The balances of deceit are in his hand. He loveth to oppress. And Ephraim said, Yet I am become rich. I have found me out substance. In all my labors they shall find none iniquity in me that were sent. And I that am Ahia thy mighty God from the land of Egypt will yet make thee to dwell in tabernacles as in the days of thy solemn feast. I have also spoken by the prophets, and I have multiplied visions and used similitudes by the ministry of the prophets. Is there iniquity in Gilead? Surely they are vanity. They sacrifice bullocks in Gilead in Gilgal. Yeah, their altars are as heaps in the pharaohs of the fields. And Jacob fled into the country of Syria. And Israel served for a wife, and for a wife he kept sheep. And by a prophet mighty God Ahia brought Israel out of Egypt, and by a prophet was he preserved. Ephraim provoked him to anger most bitterly. Therefore shall he leave his blood upon him, and his reproach shall his mighty God Ahia return unto him. Chapter 13 When Ephraim spake trembling, he exalted himself in Israel, when he offended in Baal, he died. And now they sin more and more, and have made them molten images of their silver and idols according to their own understanding. And all of it, the work of the craftsmen, they say of them, let the men that sacrifice kiss the calves. Therefore they shall be as the morning cloud, and as the early dew that passeth away as the chaff that is driven with the whirlwind, and out of the floor, and as the smoke out of the chimney. Yet I am Ahia, thy El Elohi, thy mighty God, from the land of Egypt, and thou shalt know no God but me, for there is no Savior besides me. I did know thee in the wilderness, in the land of great drought. According to their pasture, so were they filled. They were filled, and their heart were exalted, therefore have they forgotten me. Therefore I will be unto them as a lion, as a leopard, by the way will I observe them. I will meet them as a bear that is bereaved of her whelps, and will rend the call of their heart, and there will I devour them like a lion. The wild beast shall tear them. O Israel, thou hast destroyed thyself, but in me is thine help. I will be thy king, whereas any other that may serve thee in all thy cities where is any other that may serve thee in all thy cities? And thy judges of whom thou sayest, Give me a king and princes? I gave thee a king in mine anger, and took him away in mine wrath. The iniquity of Ephraim is bound up, his sin is hid. The sorrows of a travailing woman shall come upon him. He is an unwise son, for he should not stay long in the place of the breaking forth of children. 
I will ransom them from the power of the grave, and I will redeem them from death. O death, I will be thy plague. O grave, I will be thy destruction. Repentance shall be hid from mine eyes. Though he be fruitful among his brethren, an east wind shall come. The wind of mighty God Ohio shall come up from the wilderness, and his spring shall become dry. And his fountain shall be dried up, and he shall spoil the treasure of all pleasant vessels. Samaria shall become desolate, for she had rebelled against her mighty God. They shall fall by the sword, their infants shall be dashed in pieces, and their women shall, child shall be ripped up. Chapter 14 O Israel, turn unto a mighty God, Ahiah, thy El Elohi, for thou hast fallen by thine iniquity. Take with use words and turn to mighty God, Ahiah. Say unto him, Take away all iniquity and receive us graciously, so will we render the calves of our lips. Ashura shall not save us. We will not ride upon horses, neither will we say any more to the work of our hands. You are our gods. When the, the fatherless find it mercy, I will heal their backsliding. I will love them freely, for mine anger is turned away from him. I will be as the dew unto Israel. He shall grow as the lily, and cast forth his roots as Lebanon. His branches shall spur it, and his beauty shall be as the olive tree, and his smell of Lebanon. They that dwell under his shadow shall return. They shall re revive as the corn, and grow as the vine. The scent thereof shall be as the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim shall say, What have I to do any more with idols? I have heard him and observed him. I am like a green fir tree. From me is thy fruit found. Who is wise, and he shall understand these things? Prudent, and he shall know them. For the way of mighty God higher or right, and the just shall walk in them. But the transgressors shall fall therein. And that's the end of Hosea. Thank you for listening.